this. Get some hangers. Top up the hangers. Got Bowman Chrome Mega Box. As well as Bowman Platinum. It's pretty crazy. Two autographs in each. Pretty expensive though, $89. That's 50 right there. A whole bunch of top holiday. Yeah, stock is good. Boss stock. What's going on everyone? Welcome back to another brand new video and today we're gonna go ahead and do a review on a brand new product, the 2022 Bowman Chrome, which is the mega boxes, which is crazy. As you guys saw in the little clip, I ran into a uh, restock over at Walmart that had absolute football, um, the platinum of baseball as well, and the Bowman Chrome. I chose to go ahead and purchase the Bowman Chrome. There were some tops hangers as well, but I've ripped enough of that. I wanted to spend the money to do the review on this new product. Um, I will do a review on the Absolute Football. I'm not a big fan of Absolute Football, even though they have the Kabooms. I've never had any much luck. I've never pulled a Kaboom before, but I would prefer not at that price point. I would rather find it over at Barnes & Noble, give it a shot over there or over at Target. But I could not pass up the 2022 Bowman Chrome Mega Boxes. Bowman Chrome for me this year, or Bowman just in general, has been an amazing pro product in, in overall. I pulled some crazy cards as far as on card autos and such, and number cards. And um, the refractor has been beautiful, beautiful cards. So I want to go ahead and do this, especially you guys. I know there's a lot of baseball subscribers that are in, in my channel so i want to do for all you guys baseball lovers but this product seems to be um pretty good i, I love it overall i'm gonna I, I i liked it the ones in the previous at the price point at 50 bucks though is pretty pricey i'm not gonna lie um pretty pretty expensive i went ahead and paid the premium over at walmart but I highly suggest maybe later down the road, if you're able to find this at Target or Barnes & Noble, buy it from there instead. Um, but we're going to go ahead and open up two Bowman Chrome Mega Boxes today at a hopes of pulling a big rookie. Um, I'm assuming the rookies should be the same as the one at Top's Update. I might be wrong. I don't. I won't know um too much of the rookies that i pull but hopefully down in the comments after i'm done pulling you guys could tell me exactly how well i did or which players are your which players you're looking for in this set but we're going to go ahead and get started here um so yes this is about 49.99 plus tax pretty expensive 35 cards in total total chrome cards um, well, let's see here, five card pack of baseball, um, yeah, let me see here, oh, let me take a look here, just give me one moment, you guys, let me just change this, um, just want to make sure this zoom application on my, my camera is actually catching the stuff pretty good here, so it's not bothering you guys or it's a lot clearer for you Let me just make sure everything's good all right seems like everything's good now. all right but yeah let's go ahead and um get started here well, let me, let's go ahead and take a look at what we got here first so five cards per pack um plus two exclusive five card chrome mega pack so you got a chrome mega pack in here um a ton of refractors rose gold Blues, greens, orange, um, autographs, and parallels galore. That's why I think for 50 bucks, maybe not that bad considering if you compare it with other sports, it's not a bad price, but I wish it was a little bit cheaper. But let's get go ahead and get started here, you guys. All right, hopefully 
We do good. Oh, look at it. They have a little styrofoam. Hopefully, that means it's uh, something good in there. I, I like the fact they put that. That's pretty cool. So it doesn't jump in the box everywhere, as you guys can tell. It's cool that they put a styrofoam in there so it doesn't damage the cards. Maybe they got a lot of complaints from the previous. Who knows? Yep. So here is the Bowman Chrome. First look. First look here, guys. Oh my gosh. Oh, I, I might have ripped the Chrome card right off the bat already. That is my mistake. So I think you're looking for the prospects. Uh, yeah. This is the two packs of Bowman, uh, the, of the mojos you get. So kind of messed up on that. Let, let's go ahead and do the other ones first. Those are the ones you're looking for, those um, mojos. They look really nice. Got Marcus Simeon. Just a regular Bowman Chrome right there. Stephen Kahn, nice. Stephen Kahn, good on that. We got a Jaren Duran on the rookie. A Jake Berger. Ooh, if you guys could see, there's some damage on the card. So the quality, the quality is not good. There's a damage like right there. Luckily it wasn't a rookie card, but that could be bad if it's a rookie, you guys. So the quality of control already is, is, is not looking great. We got Jeremy Penna. There we go. Jeremy Penna. Kyle Lewis. Uh, Marie Detmers. A little scratch right there, which is not good. Um, uh, Bayon Boxton. Uh, Kyle Tucker. So these cards are really bowing, which is not good. Maybe that's why they call it Bowman. But yeah, these are already kind of like bowing a little bit. It was the Pringling up. Starling Matt. We got Matt Manning. Valadimir Garrard Jr. Jeremy Penna again. So we got two Jeremy Pennas. Not bad. We'll take it. Definitely take it. Kyle Lewis. Getting some uh, repeats there. Nice cards though. They're gorgeous if they weren't scratched. Some of these scratched are bent. You guys see that? It's already bending. Which is not good. Matt Olson. We got Shane Bays. Mackenzie Gore. And a Paul Goat. So we get Paul Bobby here. We got Kyle Tucker. A Pete Alasso. Matt Olson. A Reed Detmers again. Jeez. Why are they giving me like, wow. These are a lot of repeats on these guys. Not good. A lot of repeats. Let's go ahead and sleep the, the pen up though. Don't want to damage that card. Some of these cards. I'll, I'll make sure I go ahead and sleeve more. Go and sleep up the penna. We'll take a look at the quality of this too later on to make sure it's a grading candidate or such. Um, not too bad. We did get penna. But let's go ahead and get our uh, mojos here. So this is what you're really after right here. And this is why it costs so much probably is because of this. These parallels right here. This is where you're gonna hit your big uh, money makers or big rookies. You want it in these colors. So this is the mojo here. We got Wilbin Diaz. And a green of Kyle Watson. Nice, this is probably numbered. And uh, first prospect of uh, Vendra Rajas. Wow, that's 51 out of 99 out of Ka Ka um, Khalil Watson, you guys. The green. That is awesome. That's a big hit. Um, Yandara Ro Rojas on that. And then there's something behind it. I don't know if this prospect is good or not. Maybe you guys could let me know. Um, it's uh, Yendra Roja Rojas. Man, stuck. Something's stuck. And then we got uh, Rosman Virago. First of um, first Bowman. 
So that's the, that's the pros that's what you want is those prospects. So hopefully I pulled a good one. I, I personally don't know. I, I, I'm not gonna lie to you. I, I did not know. Um, but this product is gorgeous. It really is. It really is. Um, hopefully we uh, pull another number card out of the other box, but we'll see. A, a Khalil Watson out of 99, that's pretty big. I think that's pretty big. Make sure we top load that bad boy. This one seems really thick for some reason. Alright, we'll go ahead and put the standee right there for him. Nice number card. Green. We'll go up the prospects afterwards. And we have one more pack here. You did Cape. A Lover Pegro. James Wood. Beautiful card. And a first prospect of Junior Perez. Nice. And a Harry Ford. So we got only one prospect out of that one. These are really beautiful cards. Really beautiful cards. Uh, Junior Perez. Nope, I didn't pull another one. I just make sure I didn't pull it twice. But that was the first box, you guys. Not bad. We did pull that um, like Kala Watson right there. I know he was big a few years back. It's not his rookie card, but still pretty cool, in my opinion. Got a little foam thing there going on. We'll make sure we don't rip the, the chrome packs right off the bat here. And spoil it. This time around. But yeah, here's the two chrome packs. Alright. Rip these up. Fernando T uh, Tidez Jr. We got Wander Frankel. Nice. Wander Frankel. A uh, Corey Sager. A uh, Spencer Torkinson. Nice. Okay. And a Bryson Stott. Pretty, pretty cool cards. Another Torkinson. That's a cool one. Jose Altov. Just put this to the side here. Brandon Crawford. And a Brandon Marsh. So no Bobby Witt yet, or at least on the rookie ones. MJ Madalas, Juan Hippes, Christian, um, Christian Yellick, Jose Altav, and Jose Ramirez. Okay, a uh, Manny Machado, Randy Arazin, um, Arazarina, Bo Bichetti, Gabriel Arias, and a Jose Miranda again. A Brandon Crawford, Brandon Marsh again. Manny Machado, Randy Arzonarana again, Bo Bichetti, wow, did this, those are garbage, I'm not gonna lie, there are really a lot of repeats, even in the same box, it's like, why, why even, so no Bobby on that, so that kind of sucks, a Colton Coser on our first mojo, got Loney White Jr. Ooh, and a nice pink of Robert Hazel. Unfortunately, it's not a rookie. But that's out 199. Very beautiful card. 
Jose Rodriguez and a Trey Sweeney. So we, at least we pulled two numbered uh, cards out of that pack. Robert Hazel again. Uh, is a Quell Tolver. Can we get Prosec? Ooh, a Trey Sweeney. Auto, you guys. That's why I like this product. Look at that. Trey Sweeney, auto. Pretty nice. Nice, nice, nice. On card two. I'm pretty sure that's on card. Trey Sweeney, on card auto. That is awesome. And the Henry Davis got in the box. And the first prospect of Alex the uh, Jesus. That is awesome. Let's go ahead and leave that up. Get this. We'll make sure we sleeve up that rose one too. Amazing, amazing cards. Kind of makes me want to go buy more of these. I'm not gonna lie. Hmm. But yep, let's just go over it real quick. A lot, a lot of these mojos, which is pretty good. These are just some of the vets. Um, vet cards here. So nothing really to, to kind of run home about right there. Um, ton of the rookie cards. I know that most people are looking for the prospects, but um, that's what you're technically looking for. But these are pretty cool too. Uh, the Wanda Franco and such. I'll make sure I sleeve some, some of these up um, along with that. Um, but the big cards, for sure. Let me go ahead and top load some of these. I feel like these cards are a lot thicker because they're a little bit harder to kind of place in. Which is nice. It's a little bit more sturdy. So yeah, you guys. So we got that um, Khalil Watson green out of uh, 51 out of 99, which is crazy cool, right? Then we got the numbered uh, Robert Hazel. Not sure if this is a good player or not. Um, out of 199. I'm not sure if the camera could pick up, but yeah, wow. Um, it's 194 out of 199 on the peak mojo. And then we went ahead and was able to pull a Trey Sweeney uh, on card auto graph, which is insane. Of course, not numbered. And the prospects. Let me know if this pro these prospects are good or not. I'm, I'm not sure who are the top ones, but an Alex the Ju the Jesus Junior Perez, we got Roseman Bradagu, and we got the Andre Rogers. Um, two of these guys are from the same uh, team, but good product overall. Is it worth 50 bucks? I would say yes. Um, may, maybe slightly. I think the price range for me would be it would be a good price at forty. Uh, it would be a good price at forty, in my opinion. But I, I, the cards are very beautiful. There is some issues with the packs, though. Some of the cards were damaged and such. So I would have to give this probably, to be fair, probably a seven to ten out of ten. Maybe closer to a, a seven and a half out out of ten. But it's a very good product. If you guys see it. If you're trying to pull something big, if you're a baseball guy, I highly suggest it. Um, the, the cards are really gorgeous, really nice. Number cards, on-card autos, as you saw what I just pulled um, just a moment ago with the, um, uh, the Trey Sweeney. Beautiful, beautiful cards, though. Beautiful cards. So if you're a baseball guy, you have to buy it. I mean, it's 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 just a no-brainer. Um, just got to do a very expensive rep, though. Um, am I going to do more of it? More or less, I would. I would definitely rep this over any... Prism basketball mega boxes and such. It just has a higher chance of hitting something big, a big number card. That's some stuff that is missing right now in basketball and football, you know? Um, 
with baseball, you don't have, you have a lot of number cards, a lot of good parallels, um, autograph, on-card autographs. I just feel like other sports is sleeping um, when it comes to the quality and the upside of ripping sports cards. Baseball seems to be a lot better, in my opinion. I'm not even a big baseball person, don't know the game as much, but just knowing it, it's just a better product overall. Um, but I hope you guys enjoy it. Let me know down in the comments what you guys thought was the best pull of the, the personal rip. Um, please make sure you share, like, and subscribe to the channel. Um, sorry about that. And um, please make sure you share, like, and subscribe to the channel. And uh, hit that like button. It helps me out a lot. If you're new, please make sure you subscribe. And I appreciate it a lot, you guys. Until next time, you guys, collect what you love. And I'll catch you in the next video. Peace. Thank you.